first dream was to open the restaurant in an old farmhouse, but the only access to the farmhouse was on a wooden plank that crossed a dangerous river. So we found a, a more suitable location in the heart of the nearest town. Population at the time was 155. I think if you know the origin story, as it were, him teaching himself how to cook, traveling to Europe, and then coming back to a town that was literally in the middle of nowhere and deciding this is where he was going to open a restaurant. And knowing from the day that he opened it, when the chicken was $4.95, of where the intent was. We opened in 78. At the end of our first year, in 1979, we closed for the month of January and decided to go on a gastronomic pilgrimage to the greatest restaurants in France. Many and most of those were Michelin three-star places. Every meal cost more than our car. Michelin are an organization that started in France in the early 1900s. Their focus was on selling tires. They then got into the rating of hotels and restaurants as a way to encourage people to travel. And over the decades, become the Oscars and the Nobel Peace Prize all rolled into one. It's probably the most important uh, award or accolade that a chef can receive. That was my first experience with what Michelin stars meant. That appreciation of culture, gastronomy, heritage, villages, regions, and electricity in the room, that performance. And the contrast between where we were after the first year and a half in business and where they were was like taking a rocket ship to a different planet. And I thought, well, you know what? Screw them. We grew up on Mrs. Paul's fish sticks, on Stouffer's lasagna, but it was a legitimate flavor memory. I was taking my childhood flavor memories and bringing them forward. We shouldn't ever be embarrassed by our past.